Today's breakdown presentation will look at arriving players on both sides of the ball, more specifically arriving players from the defense and arriving support players from the attack. The important thing before every tackle, every collisions, we ask ourselves always which player or players are under pressure and what do we need to see from that or those players. And with everything breakdown, if we arrive early at 45 degrees in terms of our positioning, it gives us a chance to be consistent. In most cases, across competitions in BC anyway, the ball carrier, the attack, actually go beyond where the previous ruck was, meaning the next tackle is a positive gaining ground. So in that case, we need to look at the arriving defender as opposed to other players. The question we ask ourselves when we look at arriving defenders as the key players is, are they in a position to lift the ball or move opposition players like we see here? Here we see an arriving player in the position to lift the ball but the attacking support is able to move that player off the ball, giving us a play on situation. Here we see an arriving defender in a position to lift the ball and despite the cleanout that comes through, as he gets knocked to the ground, he's able to win the ball by lifting it off the ground and create a turnover for his teammates. Here we see an arriving defender in jersey 13 over the ball with his hands on the ground but unable to lift the ball in that position. He ends up in the way of the clean out and of the ball giving the referee an option to blow a penalty for off feet. In some cases, the attack doesn't make it past the gain line or the support from the attack is marginal, which gives the referee a chance to look at both teams equally. The cue we're looking for is the arriving players from both teams to have both feet behind the ball and get through the gate before they compete. Here we see a tackle relatively neutral at the gain line. And as a red player gets up to compete, he doesn't get both feet behind the ball. Therefore, he's not through the gate. And the referee has to award a penalty for incorrect entry. Here we see a defender able to get both feet behind the ball before he competes. In this case, he's able to be rewarded as he survived the cleanup with possession. Here we see a defender entering with both feet behind the ball. 
He's able to successfully move an opponent before going off his feet, creating a successful counter arc turnover. In this relatively neutral contest, we see the attack is slightly late to support. The first arriving player falls over the ball carrier and does not move an opponent, giving the referee an option to blow a penalty for off feet. In the most rare of cases, we'll see a tackle behind the gain line, otherwise known as a gain line negative breakdown. A turnover is likely in these situations, therefore we look at the attacking support. After identifying the attack support player, we ask ourselves the question, are they moving the opposition player or do they have their feet on the ground? In this situation, we see that the attack is under pressure. The tackle ends up behind the gain line. And the arriving support player is not able to get his feet into a position to make a legal clean out. In this situation, we see the attacking support is slightly late, but they're able to start with both feet on their side of the ball and effectively move the arriving defender off of the ball in order to maintain possession. Thank you for watching. You can find more resources like this one at bcrugby.com slash get involved slash referee resources. You can email caspmus at bcrugby.com. And just a reminder, the BC Rugby Conference for Coaches and Referees is January 11th and 12th. More info at bcrugby.com. Thank you.